All right, so today I'm going to talk about uh, how to set the focal point of your laser. It's not really rocket science. I guess it's more like laser science, right? What you're going to need is you're going to need a scrap piece of wood. You're going to need a block of wood or something. You can even use a bottle of water. You can even use a bottle of water. The point is, is that you want to make a ramp. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your laser pretty close right here to the wood. And you want to be able to have a straight line so that when you go left to right or right to left, it goes in a straight line across the piece of the wood. And it's going to hit it at these different elevations. Right? Because the laser is going to find a focal point. The focal point is going to be shaped like an hourglass. Let me show you. So basically, you take a block of wood, set it somewhere. You're going to take a square piece of wood, and you're going to set it here. Now I'm going to start mine just a little bit of a distance from the bottom, from there. So you want to take a look so you can get the depth of that. So now, the laser is going to stay on this piece of wood the entire, the entire time that's traveling this path. You see that? That's going to be important. Now the point is so that the distance changes as it travels. This is going to be the closest and this is going to be the furthest. You can do it left to right, right to left, it really doesn't matter. The point is that you change your elevation along the ramp as you travel the straight line. So now that we got that part set up, I'm going to turn on my air assist. Just because I don't like the smoke getting on my lens. I'm going to hit my pulse button. I'll make sure your water cooler is on too. Hit your pulse and travel to the right. Now if you notice, it starts wide, it gets narrow, and then it goes wide again. The shape of an hourglass. And that middle point is going to be my focal point. Now to test it again, I'm going to move it down a little bit, staying on that piece of wood. I'm going to hit pulse, and I'm going to ride it left now. Now if you look here, you can see on both lines, I got something in common. It starts wide, it gets narrow, and it gets wide again. That narrowest point is my focal point, and that's the point that I want to put to the middle of the wood. But to find out the distance, I'm going to grab a piece of tape, make it kind of like a little piece of a little line right here, and I'm going to put it along this. So now that I know that this is my starting disc, this is where I'm going to start from. That's, that's, that's at 12 o'clock or close to it, right? So now then I travel over here to the middle. It, just, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's pretty rough, right? You see it's too wide, skinny, wide again. Maybe I can go ahead left. And the reason I put this tape on here is so I can count the number of turns until I hit the surface of the material. So here's at 12 o'clock. Now I go one full turn, two full turns, three full turns to see how close we are. And now we're bringing it into four full turns. That's pretty darn close, right? Four turns brings me pretty close to that, to that, to the narrowest part of the beam. So now I know whenever I have a piece of, whenever I have a piece of wood on here, And I go full, now if you flip her hair real quick. Now you notice it's not at 12 o'clock, it doesn't matter. That's not the point. The point is, is that now I know I could do full four, four full turns. Four. And that is the same distance when this was like this to the narrowest part. Now what I want to do is I want to take that narrowest piece of the beam and put it to the middle of the material. This is for cutting because that way the narrowest part is there and that, that's where you're going to be able to cut. You'll be able to cut that, that thick of wood well, at this density. I don't know about this density. It matters the type of material you have. But I want to put that focal point to the middle of there. So that's full for a turn right here. Now I'm, gonna, now I'm just going to eyeball it and guess and move it about that much of a distance. Half the size of the material. 
a lot closer. And for me, it's about a quarter of a turn, half a turn. About half a turn brings me into the middle. And now the laser will go, will cut right starting at the middle. The depth of that, the center of that hourglass is at the middle of this material. And that, that's how you zero in your laser. That's how you do your focal point. And that's about it. I mean, it's pretty, pretty easy. 